Okay, this movie is going to go through the algebra of getting a per capita production function. So you start out here with the general form. You just have y is a function of k and l, where y is production, f is your function, k is capital, l is labor. If we were to give it a functional form, we could raise k capital to the alpha and l labor to the 1 minus alpha. Now to get it into per capita terms is actually very simple. You just divide both sides of this equation by L, which is labor, gives it to you in per capita terms. But what's difficult might be understanding why we get the result we do in the algebra behind it. So here, let's take this generic form, or actually this is generic form. So we'll take this functional form which is generic because it has variables instead of numbers and divide everything by L so the trick here now is to remember some algebra rules so because we have L in the denominator 1 over L is equal to L to the minus 1 so we can rewrite this guy so we'll have y over l is going to be equal to our k to the alpha times our l to the one minus alpha minus one so we've taken this l from the denominator we've substituted this l to the minus one multiplied it here and since with exponents if you multiply it you just add or subtract the exponents so we have 1 minus alpha minus 1 the ones cancel again since this exponent here is negative alpha we can take it and put it in the denominator and then change the sign of that alpha so we'll end up with y over l equals k over l to the alpha and again this can be written in our intensive form y over l is just little y our per capita y and big K over L is just little k our per capita capital and then we add in this alpha as an exponent now for a numerical example we can start with our y equals k to the third, l to the two thirds. Then divide both sides by l. Do the same thing before. So we get our k to the one third and our l to the two thirds minus 1 because an L in the denominator is the same as L raised to the negative 1. 2 thirds minus 1 gives us 1 third so we have big K over big L raised to the 1 third again big Y over big L is little y big K over big L is little k and then get that exponent and drop it down so I've shown how we get from the basic production function to the per capita one with a simple algebra trick.